Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your Arizona Coyotes franchise mode. Here we are. It's going to be the uh, the year three offseason because we lost to Colorado. You know the team that we have the first round pick of? Yeah, yeah we lost to them. No, I'm not salty about it. Why would you say that? Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to sim up to the draft and see what, what's going on. We'll take a look at the awards. Hopefully Matthews can take home a, a, a heart against all odds. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll take a look at the draft class because, you know, that's all we have to look forward to. Thanks, guys. Thanks for that, by the way. Sort of my potential here. What's going on? Okay. Matthias Dackel. That guy is either our second or third round pick. I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure that out. For sure. If we can get a franchise goalie, ooh, me. At least we won to the, or we lost to the Stanley Cup champions. That makes me feel a little bit better. Just just a little bit. And then you remember that we have their first round pick, and I just want to cry on the inside. Awards, let's take a look. Colorado, they're definitely they're better than the Tampa Bay Lightning at this point. Minnesota winning the Presidents. Colorado obviously winning Clarence. And Toronto winning the uh, Prince of Wales. Man, Barzell wins Art Ross. But Matthews does win the heart. Okay, that's huge. So we got Austin Matthews with the heart, with the heart trophy. That's sick. Kale McCarr winning the Norris. No shock there. Lady Bing going to... To Barzell and Prince taking home the Calder. There we go. Con Smythe going to Rantanen. Kakinen getting the Jennings and the Vesna. Uh, Siegenthaler getting the Bill Masterton. Threlfall getting back to back Jack Adams trophies. Good for him. You know, good for him. Uh, the Selkie going to Barkov. Hmm. Rarely did that in ours. Weird. Ted Lindsay going to Barzell. Maurice Rocket Richard going to McKinnon. So it looks like the only award that we were able to steal off Barzell was the heart. <laughs> I mean, thankfully, it's the most important trophy, so we'll take it. That That's hilarious, honestly. All right, let's go ahead and let's continue summing up to the draft here. Yep, look at that. Oh, yeah, we didn't have a pick in the lottery. Dallas moves up, though. Uh, I don't want to go to that right now. View retired players, because I always skip this by accident. So, oh, Patrick Kane calling it quits. Let's hear about games played. Dustin Brown, Ryan Suter, Corey Perry, Mark Edward Velasic, Shea Weber, Patrick Kane, Nick Foligno, Evgeny Malkin, Matt, Mark Giordano. Why do I want to say Matt Giordano? Yeah, Mark Giordano. Yeah, I don't know why that sounded weird to me. Wayne Simmons, uh, Alexander Edler, Paul Stasny. If you guys want to take a look at any of them in particular, you can pause it. Feel free to. I'm going to go down until I stop recognizing some names here. Uh, Jay Beagle was on our roster for a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, all right. We're, oh, Nathan Gerby. Love that dude. 5-5. Five, five. Love that dude. All righty, though. So those are the guy. Those are the skaters. Any goalies retire that are notable? Craig Anderson. Okay. Yaroslav Halak. Uh, we're going to go by games played. Because we could just have a really bad goalie who played a lot. Halak, Dubnik, Elliott, Reimer, Godobin, Doby, no. Staylock, Jonas Enroth. Scott Darling. I remember when he was like, the next big thing. And I say next big thing because he was like hilarious. I actually watched him play in the ECHL. That was that was kind of cool. Ryan Suter and Tanev are both coaches. Bunch of coach retirements. Uh, thankfully, we don't have to worry about a coaching staff because we put that together for or this past offseason. And it's pretty, pretty stacked. Our coaching staff is pretty sick. Okay, let's see here. Some good guys here. We're going to take a look here. He's high franchise. We got to draft him. Have to draft him. It's also two bars. So he's at least medium elite, right? Right? Right. 
See, it's good that they... Well, I might honestly still take him. I might, just because I don't know what else he could be. Although, we do a, we could trade down a little bit and go for this Frischy, Frischy, if he isn't available. So I think that's the plan. I think we're going to go for the goalie in the first round. If he's not available, we're going to trade down, try to get Fritschy and Alcock. Uh, maybe Chucko, not really sure. Uh, 70 comes pretty quickly there. How do I want to play this? First of all, I'm going to go ahead and Jim Schofield. Or Schofield? 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 I'm not sure. Um, draft board. I want to take a look at that. Because so I want to see where are our picks at exactly. Projected picks. We have 32, obviously. 331. I wish it would give me a number. So that's, oh, that's around 94. Yeah, so it's probably, we, it's probably best for us to trade back with that Colorado pick and look at potentially getting a couple seconds. That feels like what's best there. Or I just try to trade back with my second rounder, one or the other. It'll really just depend. No early picks on the block, so go, go ahead and sim to pick 20 or 32, excuse me. Yeah, the goalie was medium elite and a decent overall, and that's unfortunate. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to take a look at the second round here. Come on. Uh, Pittsburgh has two picks. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. I don't think I'm going to get both of these picks, but we'll see if they'll do it. 4 30. 31 or 32. Yeah, no, not a chance. So we would take 37 for like 65 and or 37, 65. Uh, there's no chance I get that. Maybe that. Oh, do you need you need me to add something late, like like a like a fifth, like a 59th? How about that one, 59? Oh my God, y'all are gonna be like this, huh? Y'all really gonna be like this? It do be like that out here. Christian Fisher, Albert. Albert, you're going to be gone. Goodbye. Sweet. Okay, cool. Those picks got taken care of. Now I don't have to worry. We're going to go. Uh, I might even trade down a little bit further here. Is there another team with multiple picks? Uh, I mean, Calgary does, but they don't want to trade them. You guys are probably like screaming at the top of your lungs about a team that I don't realize I see twice. Uh, 36, let's see. I think we might just we might just take our picks here, and with our early third rounder, we'll take the uh, the goalie. Unless, let me just check one more time. Where's he projected to go? 75, and that's 65. I don't really want to. I don't want to test that. I really don't. So I think what we're going to do here, he's projected to go at 40, and I have guys all throughout this round. So if I could potentially move that, that third rounder up, we'll see if we can do that. Move this second rounder back. Basically condense my picks. Like a late second, early third. Um... Or I guess they're both just late seconds is what I'm looking for. It's just two late seconds. Calgary looks to be the only team, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe Ottawa once. No, I don't know why. I, I guess it was just the, the Hurricanes that I'm getting confused with them. 18. Yeah, it's the Hurricanes I'm getting confused with them. Let's see, what would it take to trade that pick up to, like, to Dallas here at 19? That's a Montreal Canadiens pick. I would like to trade you 65 and 95. How about that? Except, cool. So we'll take that. We'll take him with that pick. With this one, we're going to grab a, f probably another forward I don't really want to take a chance on Castone Gay because I know there's people down here. Chucko. Yeah, we'll take him. We'll take Chucko. Nathaniel Chucko. 
Go to 51 here. Mm, Lopez, 76 overall. That's upsetting. It's really upsetting. Yeah, I don't really mind any of the ones that I missed out on. The other guy I was looking at, let's see, what was he? Cast on Gay, 79. Pfft, little upset that I didn't draft him. I take that back. I'm pretty upset that I didn't draft him. Um, but we're going to take the goalie here. Matthias Dackel. High elite goalie. Oh, I'm happy about that. I am so happy about that. I don't even care where we pick next. I don't care. High elite goalie. High elite goalie. Okay, let's see here. Peters. Peters is an option. Mauricio Peters. Okay. Aston. It's also an option there. Um... Low top four there with Grigori Brooks. I don't know why, but I want Jude Brooks. I trust him. Should not have trusted him. You know, that's what I'm learning about this game is that I should not trust my gut. Okay, Burgundy. Burgundy I have pinned for a long time. Elite, let's go. Let's go. I'm I'm oh I'm stoked about that. Okay, let's see. Is there anybody... Do I have anybody else pinned? That's that's an important thing here. O'Donnell. He's projected to go in the 200s. I'll probably take him in the 7th round. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Mietinen is looking like a, the guy. You know what? Yeah, we'll do it. Mietinen. Low elite. Let's see. Can we at least get you to be like low top 6, please? Low elite. We will happily, happily take that. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, a few low elites, but the, ooh, Huxley is a medium elite two bar. I trust that more than I trust pretty much any of the other ones. Medium top nine even. I'll take that. I will I will take that. Seventh round here. One of our two seventh rounders. Um, so there's a couple guys there to take a look at. Pinned. He's still here. Cool. Let's look by potential. Ooh, a few medium elite guys. Um... Okay. Do I take Jace Pecker just for the name? Think about it. Definitely think about it. That sounds wrong that I'm thinking about Pecker, but oh wow. Glad that I've already, you know, dug myself a hole here. Ryan Bickle. Instead of Brian Bickle, we got Ryan Bickle. Oh yeah. Uh you know, we're gonna take Doug O'Donnell to start off, the goalie. Backup. Mm, shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. That was a bad decision. Last pick of our draft here. You know, we'll take him. Vico. Vi Vico, maybe? Seventh D. Eh, it's all right. It's whatever. Doesn't matter. Big part is we got a medium elite goalie. Or a uh, high elite goalie. Dackel. I'm, I'm so excited about that. That is absolutely massive. This is what we needed uh, okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and simu simulate to the, the free resign stage. Uh, we don't have any coaches or uh, or scouts from the looks of things. So, all expiring. Yeah, I'd like to keep you qualify. Got Bianco, sure. Give you a contract. Qualify you. Qualify you. In case y'all haven't quite figured it out yet, if I can qualify him, I'm gonna qualify him. Let's go ahead, come on now. Just gotta keep on, keep on, keep it on, you know. We're gonna release you. You aren't very good. Okay, cool. Goalies. Oh uh, yeah, I'd like to keep you. Cool. All skaters now. I wanna see main roster. 96, 90 for Bedard. Okay, Prince is up to an 89. That's beautiful, beautiful. Gunther's up to an 86. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's gonna be difficult. 85 for Nylander. Oh, that's oh, I'm happy about that. Hayton's down to an 84, but that's fine. That's fine. Addison's still an 80. Cracknell's still an 80. Oh man, I really hope they get some jumps. What about in goal? How are we looking? Carter Hart in 89. Swayman at an 84. It's all right. Dackle, my man. 63 overall. Oh.
makes my heart flutter. Zadorov here at a 62, and Burgundy. We actually have kind of a stacked like goalie group right now. Uh, goalie prospect pool. All right. Mayo. Yeah, I don't. I don't care about. If you're gonna renew, then you're gonna renew. If you're not, you're not. Whatever. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send the free agency because they're all RFA's for the most part. Any of them that don't accept, it's whatever. If they do, they do. Renew, renew, renew. Yep, there was a bunch of them there. Okay, so something that is huge right now is that we're going to have to go, and we need to take a look at the view contracts here, right? Because, yeah, Ooh, they do want to resign. Okay, okay, what about Hayden? Hayden, Hayden, Hayden wants to resign. Bemstrom doesn't, I don't care. He doesn't matter to me. Uh, the big one here, Bedard. Six years. I'd rather have you at, oh my god, I could have you at seven years and still be an RFA. Yeah, we'll go seven years. I like that. Seven years of an RFA, 10.675 times 0 0.5. 9.1 9 is what we're going to be having you at, which isn't terrible. It's really not. Uh, okay, cope here. Cope, 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 cope. Uh, that's ugly. Okay, hang on. Uh, I like three years because then you, well... Do I like three years? I don't know. Mm, this is difficult. Let me see. What would this be? You're, you're, I use all my money then. What are you asking for, Gunther? Okay, yeah, no, we're going to have to get rid of Gunther. Uh, Gunther or Wallstrom or somebody because we cannot afford all of them. There's no chance, yeah. Especially not with Prince up in two years. This is going to be a big year, that's for sure. Um, look, if I was to give you three years, you're still an RFA. We could still talk to you then. Um, 8.450 times 0.5, 7.2. It's not terrible. We could We could work with that. Okay, and then finally, Gunther, there's no way to get you below 8. That's uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Five years, three, oh my gosh, yes. 3.7 times 25, 3.2. Five years, I love that contract for Hayden. That is, that is incredible. Um... Man, the only person that we're not going to be able to bring back is Gunther, and it hurts, um, at least for now. I'm looking for a one-year deal for people, like some one-year free agents, just to bolster us. Because, like, again, kind of upset about the whole, you know, um, with bad thing. And we, we can't pay money to people to be our players. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to go UFAs because I'm not giving up picks here. Hmm. Okay, pretty solid market here. Pionk is an offensive defenseman and has tons of offers. Huh? What? Jamie Ben. Because uh, I have to keep in mind what my lines look like. I'm, I need like fourth line, two way forward guys. Penalty killers. That's what I need. Um. UFAs, overall. I mean, there's some elite two-way forwards here. Come on. No, no, okay, Carter Verhage would fit on all penalty killing lines. Likely. Oh no, no, no! I don't want to. I don't want to take a chance. Bottom six. None. 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 Come on. All penalty. Nope. Nope. Just a chance because uh, I don't do that. Oh, there was one. Mm, Sam Steele. Who was that that works online too? Weird. Okay. 
I did not see him a minute ago. Hmm. Ole Levy. Yeah, no, not for that contract. Uh, what about you, Schwartz? Or Schultz, not Schwartz. Uh, sniper, power forward. You actually don't want much. None. Dang. Tyler Johnson, penalty killing lines, right? Right? Am I, am I right? Uh, it's only three stars. I don't know, this is a difficult situation. Because, like, whoever signs with us is signing a one-year deal. Like, I, they need to know that right away. Don Skoy. None. Zooker's a sniper? Okay, I did not expect that. Forward line one. Sprong, two-way defenseman, two-way forward there. And Sheary, Connor Sheary, maybe? Uh, okay, who was it up here that did it, or that fit it? I think it was Tyler Johnson. I think I might sign Tyler Johnson. Yeah, we'll sign Tyler Johnson as a fourth liner. I mean, he's kind of old. One-year contract. 4.5, and we'll let him walk next year. He'll play on that fourth line. We'll be happy about it. Goalies. Shishorkin even wants a one-year contract. Oh, man. Do I do that, though? Do I do that and then not play Swayman? Yeah, you know what? We can't take chances. I'll have one of the, one of the three goalies scratched. Um, okay. This kid is medium elite. Yeah, we're gonna sign him. I always like I always do this just like you know to do my due diligence, but like they really are messing up here. Delandria. He wants a two-year deal. I'm not willing to pay him that money right now. Um, no, we'll we'll do it. You loaning in or whatever. There you go. Seth Jarvis. There you go. Got six contracts offered. Eight contracts. Sorry, not eight contracts. My bad. Um, Raphael Lavoie. Sign you. Uh, Peltier, sign you. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? All right. Let's see here. Um, two way contracts there. We would happily sign you, Braden Tracy. I believe you are one of our prospects, if I'm not mistaken. Playmaker, love to see it. Uh, da, 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 um, no. All right, cool, 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 cool. So we're gonna we're gonna advance a couple days. We'll see what happens. Hopefully these contracts get accepted for both renewals and. Oh my gosh, I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I almost fell there, uh, sitting on my chair here. Swayman in a fourth for a th two thirds. They don't have a goalie anymore. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. Uh, two days in. Come on. Oh my God, no one. Tyler Johnson accepts. Barrett Hayton renewed. Yelonen accepts. Raphael Lavoie accepts. Peltier accepts. Jarvis went with a different team. That kind of hurts. Tracy accepts. No. No. That's unfortunate. That was that medium elite dude. Palmieri and a third for Petrangelo and a fifth. Eh, okay. Just Jorkin accepts. Bedard renewed, that's huge. Cope renewed, that's also huge. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the contract situation now. Like, what are we what are we looking at now? Extension dollars are looking like four mil. <laughs> four mil. Oh man. Someone is gonna have to go, and I don't know who. Is, uh, we're gonna get to the regular season before we uh, before we take a look at this. But uh, what I'm what I'm thinking of right now is we're gonna run first line is the first line. Like we don't have to talk about that. You know it, it is what it is. It's all the franchise players. Um, Strom. 
I feel like Gunther just needs to be traded. Unless I, I'm going to take a look at his points. We'll see what he's done. Um, if he's been, we'll give him a 10 game stint and uh, Wallstrom a 10 game stint. We'll see who's more productive because they're both the snipers. There's no way I can trade. I can't trade uh, Clayton Keller. Like I, I can't. I can't. Um, so that's off the table. Uh, and Strom is the second line center. I don't want to. I don't think that's necessary. And he's also make, only making five mil as an eighty-seven overall. Um. So yeah, it's either it's either Gunther or Wallstrom. It's one or the other. And with it, I kind of see because something I'm thinking about is potentially like if I was to trade Keller, uh, and then trade Keller. Oh, we accept, got an offer accepted. Trade Keller for like Cockney and me who's also a playmaker and would fit the second line better. And then we could renew. Do we save enough money? I, I doubt it. And Keller's like a part of this team, though. He's like, he was the only hope for a while. Hmm, man. Or maybe, maybe, uh, what am I... I gonna do edit lines let's take a look at these guys and see what overalls we got okay but so the first line is all entirely uh 90s tracy clayton keller here third line with it would be barrett hayden and yeah nylander okay you know we could run this as a third line maybe and then maybe we we trade gunther right with Trey Gunther for for Kakaniemi, uh, and we sign Kakaniemi cheap. Six point eight. I need to be. Can I get Gunther below six point eight? Is the thing. On defense, Cracknell grew to eighty two, but Xavier Addison did not grow, which is un, un, uh, the, the it's upsetting. Uh, let's look at the AHL here. Defense Vanek is up to a 78. Okay, okay. Kraus, Peltier. Yeah, no no one really grew here. That's all right, though. Um, we're going to take a look here. Oh, man. Oh, this is such a difficult call. Can I get him for less than 6.8? Because, yeah, Tyler Johnson, we're going to let walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I, I could get him on two years here. 8.3. What's that come out to? 0. 0.325 times 0. 0.85. 7.1. So Gunther does want more money. I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you all think. And I will see you all in the next one when we make that decision. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.